In this video I am doing the third part of my ANIT A8 3D printer scratch build. This time it's about the electronics and the power supply, so stay tuned for the video. Hello, my name is Daniel, welcome to the Crosslink channel. On this channel I'm posting videos about 3D printing, gadget reviews and more. So this video will explain how to mount all the electronics starting with the fans of the extruder. The next step is we are going to mount the motor for the x-axis and the belt. And the final step is going to be the main board, the controller and the power supply. And then we are basically ready to do our first test print. So let's go. So in this step I am mounting the fan for the extruder. And then we have a second fan that cools basically the parts that we have already printed so they can cool down quicker. Um, so that's the, that's the first thing that I'm going to do now. Okay, now so the extruder cooler fan and also the filament cooler fan are mounted. Gonna turn it around now, the printer, and we are mounting the belt and the motor um, that's moving the x axis now. After fixing the x axis motor, we feed the belt into the housing from the upper side, wrapping it around the pulley and then feeding it back into the housing on the lower side. Make sure that while feeding it back it doesn't slip over the pulley. The first end of the belt can be fixed easily to its attachment with two zip ties. This is done by forming a little loop and overlaying the belt teeth onto each other so the belt fixes itself basically. The other end is being prepared with zip ties already. You will have to figure out the right amount of tension so you can barely push the second belt over the attachment screw. Anyway, I mean for the, for the first prints this should be fine. Um, we we'll have to tighten this, the belt even further at a later stage and we need to uh, build or print a build tensioner uh, for the T-X-axis. That's, um, that's for sure because uh, tensioning this belt is quite uh, cumbersome, it's not easy and uh, we should have some better tool, some better way to do that. So that's it for mounting the belt for the x-axis and the motor and next up is mounting the display. So let's try how we can mount this, how it's supposed to be mounted. So, so on a manual it's not very obvious how you mount the washers and the screws so what you do first is put four screws into this frame from the front side. So we've mounted the display and the next step is to wire up the power supply. A few words about this power supply that comes with the printer. It's a 20 amps power supply which is sort of enough for this printer. So it can handle the power that the printer needs. In certain situations if you want to add lights to the printer or any additional parts that consume more power. I highly recommend um, using a stronger one, a 30 amp probably, and using a fan on this one is a mandatory thing because um, it needs to be cooled when the printer is really, really long running over several hours 
And the other thing uh, with most of these power supplies is the problem is they have these connectors. So if you check it out here, basically you have yeah, unprotected ends, except this of this cover here, there is no protection against electrical shock. You have to be very careful handling this. Really work on it only when you have really pulled the plug from the mains and don't use any cables without any cable shoes. So the cable that comes with the printer, basically these, these cables, they don't have any cable shoes. Okay. That looks good. So now we've basically insulated the three cables to have a better connection to the power supply. So that's how it should look like when it's done. Anyway, that's how it is. That's probably one of the reasons why the printer is so cheap. So basically the power supply has its place on the left side or put on the right side if you look from the front of the printer. Okay, so now we mounted the power supply to the right side of the printer, I'm going to mount the board to the other side now. So the main board is now mounted and I'm going to wire everything and we're going to look at the end result now. So I've done all the wiring and uh, it looks like a mess. So to improve on that, um, they deliver this uh, cable protection, I'd say. So you can wrap it around the cable and so make the cable run in a smoother way. I'm going to do that right now and let's have a look at the result. So let's check out how the final result looks like. Um, the cables that have um, that are moving around, especially the ones on the hot end and also on the heat bed, I've wrapped with this black protector. Um, the uh, Z-axis uh, cable here on that side, I've also put into this wrap, um, so it's it shouldn't have any problems going up and down. And we're going to test this in the next video. So this was basically the build process and the next video is going to be about uh, calibration and testing the printer and doing our first prints. So stay tuned for the next video, I hope you liked it and please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to get notified when I post my new videos and see you next week for the fourth part actually of the Anit Scratch Build series. Bye bye and have a good week.